Good day and welcome to our short explanation of what to do if your Android device has been lost or stolen uh, before you panic. So the first thing to do is to uh, try and see if you can get into it from your Google account. Almost everybody will have a Google account. So what you do is go to myaccount.google.com and sign in. Yes, I'm going to block this out so you can't see my passwords. There we go, and then you click on security. Then you scroll down to your devices and click manage devices. Click on the device in question, which is the, in this case is your Samsung phone. And uh, what you can do is click lost this device and it will prompt you for your credentials again to make sure you're you. And here you can force a ring. So let's, uh, let's uh, bring this over so you can see what's going on. Yes, that's my ringtone, by the way. So let's just stop that. Then I can go to uh, locate, which will give me a map of where it is. And on the phone, it comes up with a device located uh, prompt. Then, uh, so that's another way to go if you're panicking. You can try to call the phone. You can force the sign out. You can notify the carrier and you can also wipe the device. So that's one happy thing to do. But before you do that, you also want to consider uh, using, and hopefully you've got a Samsung account because it's much better, here to findmymobile.samsung.com. Sign in. So from here, because I've proven who I am, I can force a ring again. I'm just going to kill that because I don't want to hear that anymore. I can lock the phone and if I lock it, um, it's uh, great. It puts up the emergency contact information and turns off the biometric stuff. So basically, you're really in trouble uh, if, um, if you've you know somebody has it that shouldn't have it you can wipe it out you can back it up you can retrieve your call logs and unlock is really what you probably want to look like uh, extend battery life is helpful uh, if you're trying to keep this thing alive so you can monitor it uh, longer uh, you know say you, you want to uh, keep it alive for you know you figure there's two hours of battery life left and uh, you want to keep it alive for six hours put it on extend battery life and then you can keep ringing it and uh, getting a hold of it you know or trying to get a hold of it. Uh, there's also set guardians, and set guardians is kind of neat. So this has to do with you know if you're you know kind of a parental mode that kind of thing, but not important for the rest of this conversation. Unlock. So let's click unlock, and uh, if I click unlock, what's going to happen here is it's going to prompt me for my credentials, and the phone will unlock. Let's do that. So I'm going to go into here. And my phone just spontaneously unlocked. What's really notable about this is not only did it unlock the phone, but it actually stripped the requirements to have uh, any security on it. So uh, what that will do is it will remove your iris scan, it will remove your fingerprint, it will remove your uh, whatever you've got. It'll remove, remove those requirements, uh, which means your phone is now, if you were really relying on your iris scan in the past or a PIN number, that's all cleared out, which is really, really helpful if you're stuck. Um, and um, yeah, you can see I just uh, locked and unlocked it there. Let me just do this again. And um, easy peasy. Okay, so uh, if you do that, you're gonna need to go through and set up your security again, but at least you get your phone back and you haven't lost any data or anything else. All right, if you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.uartech.ca. Thank you. Bye.